this match and how it all came about. Can you kind of just give us a quick background of that? I don't know if anything like that. I, by chance, wanted to be part of the event. Of course, I would love to have him anyways, but he wanted to, he wanted to because he did some great things, you know, in North America. And so he wanted to probably show himself at the international arena versus some of the best of the East. And we were thinking about it, you know, like who could be, who could be. Even from the beginning, if I'm not mistaken, he had Sandris in his mind. And he asked me my opinion. I said, I would give the edge to Sandris. And he was not sure if he could or not. And then he said he can. And he said, and you, you know, I thought enough. And he, and you know, I'm thinking that I'm good enough to win this one. And even today I talk with him. And I don't know if it is wrong to say this, but he said, like, if I will invite him directly next time to East versus West after he beats Sandris. So he's coming here, probably, he said he is 100%. Um, and, and chance that I saw versus John, uh, would be underdog versus Sandris. But chance that is 10%, something stronger, better than that time, then any, anything is possible. Anything is possible. If, if, if chance beats uh, Sandris, it is going to be a very, very important thing because we're talking about the Lord Titor champion, talking about Sandris. We're talking about current number three in the world with right arm, number two with the left arm, and European champion, um, Sandris. So um, chance to come and beat him will be a big thing, huge thing. Now, the reason why I asked that a question about the beef was, didn't uh, Sandre say something about North American pullers or something? Yes, but I no, I'm not sure if the reason that Chance wanted to pull him was that at least I don't know that he never mentioned such thing to me. And I even know that they talk with each other as well. In a, I don't think in a, any um, high tension way, but let's do, you know, you understand that way. But, but if Chance has something back in his mind about the, 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 uh, opinions of Sandri, Sandri's type of guy that he just says his opinion, you know, like he, he just thinks he doesn't hold it back. I don't think that his intention is to disrespect, but I think his type of guy that just says it how he believes, you know, he doesn't like mm, bend the words and or just make it elastic, you understand? You know, his personality. I don't think he has any intention. So this is by anyone. Next matchup, we got uh, another left hand match going on. We got uh, Jonathan Breda from uh, USA, and uh, he's going to be pulling uh, Zerup from uh, Georgia. It'll be yeah. a left time match, and uh, I know uh, a lot about John. Uh, it's a good friend of mine, and uh, I know how seriously he's taking this match. This is a, a dream to be on your card, Engen. Yeah. And um, I actually got a bunch of training videos that I'm going to be posting this week up of uh, him preparing for this match. And I actually also got a couple of uh, videos coming up uh, tomorrow from uh, Zura of his training. 
So uh, I just kind of wanted to get a quick uh, overview of uh, what you expect out of this match. I, I don't know the outside ability of Jonathan, how good it, it is. Uh, I think that he mentioned that he has that. But even if it goes inside, I know that Jonathan is good there as well. That's what I remember from his matches versus uh, Ron. And I am expecting that match to go inside. And what I like about Jonathan is that when we're talking about Zurab, is the world champion. And he's also left arm world champion. And But his usual weight, 187, that this is the highest weight category that we saw him in, in the WAF and Europeans. But right now, they will pull about 220, 225, you know, range. And so that, I am sure, Zurab will be much stronger, but not sure how much it is really his category. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, John Breda in North America, I believe he is ranked number three or four in the 220 left-hand class. So this is going to be great to see how North America's <laughs> left-hand <laughs> translates to that. Yeah, but we can't really compare like the best 220 in North America or one of the best versus the best of, because Zurab is world champion of 187. Just because he pulls it 220, he has never been there. He's, as I said, maximum 5'9". I'm, I'm not sure it is really his category. He just bulked up to pull uh, Rambet and, you know, Jonathan. Rambet is 112 kilo. And he is kind of, Zulab kind of, what I saw, doesn't take Jonathan seriously. And, but he takes Ron more seriously. And because of his career, you know, he has huge respect for Ron. I'm sure he respects Jonathan too, but, you know, one is as a person, while the other one is one of the greatest guy in the history. And so I think that, you know, the, what I like about Jonathan, that Jonathan is mentally strong guy. You know, he, he doesn't, he's like, he doesn't look intimidated, you know, and his opponent looks at, like his scariest ever. With those arms and size and everything, power, strength, he looks incredible. And Jonathan is just mentally strong, not intimidated. Forget about being intimidated. He messes with Zurab by sharing some things, you know, like he's going to spank him or something, you know, or what was it? Something, you know, I don't know. Then after the Zurab also shares something, of course, all in fun, you know, and I don't know. I don't know. But I see that some people are mentally not super strong, you know, especially when they travel overseas. They are like, you know, okay, what's expecting me? Because a lot of stories, how good the Europeans, no, uh, Eastern Europeans are, you know, and then mentally you get, you know, what's going to happen, you know. But Jonathan, I don't know how he will be there, but till now, he didn't seem to give a shit about it, you understand? He may lose or he may win. I don't know about that. But mentally, he looks strong. And that means a lot. Why? Because when you are intimidated, you may not be able to perform at your best. But when you are brave enough, then you win or lose. At least we know that he's going to give 100%. He's not going to lose because he's intimidated. If he loses, he's going to lose because he wasn't strong enough. But we don't know that yet. We will see who's stronger. I, I can't speak on what the outcome will be of that match, but I can definitely say that John's putting in the work, and I believe that's where all this confidence is uh, translating from. Next matchup, we got uh, the legend Ron Bath pulling your guy from uh, Turkey, Effie Komik. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this yeah. is going to be a left-hand battle. Um, we all know Ron Bath, 40 years in, legend of our sport. Um, kind of want to hear about Effie. I, um, I've heard him in an interview, and I, I heard he's a very, very strong guy, and uh, not too many people are able to top roll him. So uh, yeah. what, do you, what are you expecting from that match? Um, Effie, who pulled Herman Stevens here last year, 
was 126 uh, kilo. So he was a little bit over 275 pounds. But here, Rambet said that he is 112 kilo, which is about probably 246. And he wanted to set a weight limit for his opponent, 115 kilo, which is probably 253 or something. And so, Efe, Efe is very strong guy. His hand is strong, hard to topple. You, you did a good homework, you know, that's for sure. And Efe will not be as strong as when he pulled Herman Stevens. But Efe is also still very strong. He was only 108 kilo, 238 or something at WAF, still took third place there. And so now he is about seven kilo, which is about what 16 pounds heavier than his WAF shape. So I'm sure that he is, he is stronger than you know his WAF shape, where he took uh, third place after Ivan Matushenko and Sandri Sedis. So I am expecting good match as well. Again, is that one of your students that trains with you on a regular? No. No. FA, FA is training with Arif, the guy that is going to pull with uh, Arif Erdem, who's going to be pulling yeah. Hermes Gasparini. Yeah. He's a 110 uh, plus kilogram uh, WAF champion, 2019 right and left, and 2021 right hand, correct? Yeah, super heavyweight, yeah. In, in the past, he has wins uh, versus Lewan, and he has wins versus Gennady. Quinia, he has wins versus Krasimir Kostadino. So Arif is not uh, just because he is not as famous as the professional uh, super heavyweights who are like highlighted. But Arif is a dangerous guy for sure. What uh, year was that that he got that win on uh, Levant? Uh, 2000. 15, but that one beat him twice, but he beat him once. Very impressive. Yeah, and the 2016 Europeans, Arif won gold, and second place was Krasimir. I think third was Gennady, and I think fourth was Levan. Wow. Very impressive. Next match we got up is uh, we got another left-hand battle. We got uh, Tobias Sparring from uh, Sweden going against Artem Marzadov from uh, Kazakhstan. Now, this match I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I've been doing my homework, and uh, these are two up-and-coming Lions, both uh, 24 years of age, um, top-quality athletes. Um, I really can't wait to see this one. What are we uh, expecting from this? A war. Nice. And you know, it, you know, Tobias, Tobias pulled Kurdesha with right arm. Kurdesha won. He didn't have major problems, but, you know, probably he gave him, he gave uh, Kurdesha as much as trouble that Hermes gave. And then whenever I talked with the trainer of Tobias, he told me that Tobias' left arm is 30% stronger than his right arm. So even just say it's not 30%, but 15%, it still would mean a lot. And I think that I think that it will be a great battle. You know, this is what I'm thinking. And I got to give it to Tobias. I mean, talk about jumping into the deep end. I mean, you just came off a, a match with Alex Kodetsche, and now you're going against Artem Marzov who uh, yeah. I believe is ranked fifth uh, left hand in the world in a hundred plus kilogram. Is that correct? Yep. yep. I, I don't know about those rankings. I, I, I don't really follow uh, the rankings. You know, people, people have their own reasons, their own opinions. I'm not saying they are right or wrong or something, but uh, for sure, Morozov is somewhere there. You know? Engen, did they grip up when they were in the juniors? Not the junior, but the youth category in 2018. I didn't watch their match, but I heard that they had a war. 
Who won that? I don't know. I think Morozov won. I think, yeah. That's I think my guess left also. Arm, yeah, I think left arm, yeah. Right arm, I don't remember exactly. I didn't really check. All I care is who they are now. Yeah. Well, next match we got coming up is another ladies match, which uh, this one is very exciting. We got uh, a new up and coming Anna Groundlin from uh, Sweden, and she's going to be pulling uh, the veteran Angie Rose from Canada. Which yeah. uh, I also know Anna Gronlin. Um, I, I came into the sport two years back, and I uh, my first tournament I ever went to was uh, the LA Fit Expo, and uh, Anna actually was there. And uh, yeah. Anna had a very dominating performance there, and I never forgot her. And actually, came a friend with her that day, and uh, uh, yeah, this yeah. was actually this was actually at the beginning, Engen, when I uh, was being coached by you. And um, yeah. I believe at that same time, you also took uh, Anna upon as a student. Yeah. So uh, me and Anna kind of bonded with that. And uh, I'm just very interested to see Anna's progression and all, because I know that you uh, yeah, the, definitely the, been the taking her under the wing. The only thing is that uh, Anna had experienced uh, a long brachyradialis injury for near one year. So, you know, my type of training is pronator based and but because she was injured we had to train not the left arm but the right arm we train her inside but lately she is healed up she's she's healed up she's healthy and but, what was wrong what was wrong with her her um brec radialis was it um uh, tendinitis? Like, i think nerve nerve pinch or something this is how she explained yeah anyway so um, I don't know exactly the, the level of uh, Angie and how good she is compared to the other North Americans. Probably uh, we wouldn't compare with Sarah. Probably Sarah would be uh, better than the rest. But other than that, how, I don't know where she is at. And, and I am expecting it to be a very, very good match. I see Angela just with the pronado base, like a side pressure. And Anna can pull. You know, Anna right now is more with the wrist control. The, 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 the thing about the wrist control, when you have the, the wrist control, then you make so much difference. But when you train for the wrist control, and then if the match goes with the, like a flat wrist versus flat wrist, and if you didn't train, but only train for the wrist, then it may be so. It, it, if, if Anna gets the wrist control, then I think she will be very dangerous. Otherwise, we will see who is this side pressure um, better. And then, then we, we, we will. But the only thing, another thing that Anna is probably losing about like eight kilos or something in last less than two months. I, I was going to ask you that, Engen. Is there a weight cap set for this match? I think they, they agreed. They agreed together, you know, about the arm, about the weight. I didn't get involved. I said, you ladies, just sit and then make your own. We know ladies are usually um, getting along better than we guys. You know, we are just like, you know, more fighting. And then they are like, oh, honey, or something. You know, they just go, how sweet you are, you know. And then, oh, let's do right. Okay, let's do This is what I am imagining. <laughs> I don't know, but they said right arm, and I think seventy-eight kilo. Um, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to give a little background of Angie Rose. Uh, you know, Angie is a, a big <laughs> uh, North American uh, star, one of the best uh, middleweights. Um, she also was a WAL star. Um, she's also um, <laughs> dates uh, our legend uh, Ron Bath. So uh, Ron is definitely. Uh, helping her out with this, which uh, doesn't get much better than that. So uh, if you kind of look at it at that, uh, both uh, corners got two legends in it. We got uh, Engen, you helping out. No, 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 no. I, I'm not at the corner. Okay, okay. But I, I'm just saying as far as guidance and as coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that way, yeah. That way, yeah. yeah same but thing with Ron me. Beth. You know, Ron let's, is uh, Angie's kind of uh, coach and trainer. I, I don't know that formally, but, you know, I'm sure that does uh, go on. The, the, the problem is because of COVID and everything lately, I really couldn't help her a lot. You know, I have been very ill 
you know, I'm still, as you see, still coughing, yeah. still don't feel energy, but I'm, I'm not COVID anymore, but still immune system needs to get a little bit, you know, um, stronger. And I'm uh, intentionally spending time at home so that I will be 100%, I hope, covered for the event because I need to do a lot of work there. Engen, what, uh, what day is everybody getting in? What, what, what day does the first athlete get in? I think that two or three athletes are coming on ninth, and then four of them or three of them are coming on uh, 11th and the rest on 10th. Okay. So you're going to have a busy week ahead of you. So I hope you feel better and yeah. you get back. Yeah, I, I, I hope that community will support us and then uh, we can do more events uh, because I said this before, if, if the uh, loss is big, because it's a huge event, huge, I could, I could set five, six matches with the same amount of pay-per-view sell. But I, I wanted this to become like an arm wrestling festival, you understand? And, and then I would really expect community to support me in the event. What will happen if they support? We will organize again, you know? And if, if I lose a lot, then I won't be able to. I said this before. So, um, as I said, I'm not a millionaire. And so, if, if you want more, if you if they want more of East or West, you know, just if they support me, if they have, you know, uh, chance to do that, then yeah, it will be great. So as soon as this finish, or the probably the midsummer, I will be planning the next one. So everybody in the arm wrestling community, please, this is like the Super Bowl for our sport. I mean, Engen has uh, really put everything he can into this. He's got 16 of the top quality matches. I'm going to put the link in the description. Get over to Core Sports. Go help us out. $12.99. You are getting a deal of your lifetime. We're going to have a great time watching all these matches. And you're also helping out. Support us, fellow arm wrestlers, so that we can do this again.